I keep ordering more and more and more and more. And I, the reason I'm calling you is guess what? I'm still running out. I need some more. I said, how do I order so that this doesn't happen? Here's what he told me. You can't. And here's why you can't. It's because you're experiencing the blessings of the Lord. Now, the Holy Ghost directed me after our first year that our first check, Brother Pete, goes to missions. The second year, if I told you what we did, oh my goodness, have mercy, you think I was lying. Second year, our first check went to missions. So there's a group of guys gathered around, and they're talking yesterday morning before I called. And they said, what is going on in Portageville? What are they doing? They're selling everything they get. What's happening? And one of them said, I'll tell you exactly what's happening. The first check they write goes to missions. And here's what was said. I want you to listen to this right now. Here's what was said. You don't know if that's why they're being blessed. No, no listen to me. You can't prove that that's why they're being blessed. You can't prove that them giving their first check to missions is why they're being blessed. Now, I, I don't know that I can express to you, show you, manifest to you, whatever, how mad, how redneck mad that I got instantly. Listen to me, Brother Pete. I, I'm, not, I'm not blowing smoke at anybody right now. I immediately started getting sick at my stomach. I was so angry, I about cried. Has anybody ever been there before? I was shaking. Can't prove it! Can't prove it! Because you see, they weren't insulting our ability. They weren't insulting our talent. But they were insulting our faith. And it is time and high time that we rise up. I'll, I'll defend my kids. I'll defend my wife. I'll defend my job. And I'll defend this church. But I'm telling you right now that I'm not going to fight as hard for anything as I am my faith. Because if I can believe in God, if I can keep on believing in God, He can do anything. He can do all. If I can keep holding on to what I know to be true about my life, he can do anything. I want to be so passionate about my faith. I want, that's why Jude said, when I, when I diligently sought what I ought to write to you, he said the Holy Ghost told me that you need to earnestly contend for the faith. I got to tell you, I got to tell you, in the flesh, I was thinking I would like nothing better than to smoke him right between the eyes right now because it made me mad. I was shaking. I was quivering. And I understood something, Brother David. Lord, first off, I need you to forgive me. I shouldn't have got that mad at that feller. Because the Bible says, I told you all Wednesday night, the Bible will correct you. The Bible says, the wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of God. So it means if I get mad and punch somebody, I've just eliminated their wrong and elevated mine. So I had to say, Lord, forgive me. And then I'm walking across here this morning praying. And then you know what I had to say? Lord, I need firework faith. Not just this week. But I need firework faith for these people. Because there's some of them going through a trial. 
And just as sure, just as sure as I walk away from this parking lot every night, and I say, Lord, I cover it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And every morning when I walk in the door, everything's good. When the forecast says, in 102 minutes, you're fixing to get slammed with a thunderstorm. And a light drizzle comes. And then it's gone. You can't prove. <laughs> Let me tell you something. The proof's in the pudding, Brother McKinney. <laughs> well, I feel the Holy Ghost right now. Prove it! Prove it! Let me tell you how I can prove it. Because I'm still here. I said, because I'm still here. Because if it hadn't have been for the Lord who was on my side, when the enemy came against me, Sister Virginia, the Bible says he would have beat me. If it hadn't been for the Lord who was on my side. You know something, Sister Stephanie? It's that faith that I've got to get a hold of. God help me right now. And Sister Margaret, it might be two days. It might be three days. It might be a week or maybe just a couple of hours. But Sister Nadine, if I can hold on to my faith in God, time don't make no difference to him. Because one day with him is a thousand years and a thousand years is one day. But I've just got to lock in with the Lord and got to understand heaven and earth will pass away, but my word shall not pass away. The Lord hath given and the Lord hath taken away. But blessed be the name of the Lord. You hear me? right now. Somebody can go into that firework tent and steal everything we got tonight. The rain can come and wash it away. But next year, when the fourth rolls around, I'm going to raise it up again because the Lord has proved to me that He's not forsaken us. The Lord has proven to me that His hand is upon it. The Lord has proven to me. And I don't have to prove anything to you because He's proven everything to me. I listened to Enlighten on XM, channel 65. If you got it, you need to listen to it sometimes. Brian Free and Assurance sing a song that they're covering from Shirley Caesar. And it says, Long as I got King Jesus, Long as I got King Jesus, Long, long, long as I got Him, Don't need nobody else. I've been lied on, cheated, talked about, mistreated, abused, confused, and I forgot the rest of that part, but it says, long as I got King Jesus, long as I got King Jesus. He wanted their faith to be built to the point that they really believe God can do anything. I don't have to prove it. I know it. I don't have to prove that the Holy Ghost has changed me, kept me, blessed me, protected me, healed me. I know I've been changed. I know the hand of the Lord is on my life. Romans chapter 5, verse number 1. Therefore, be... <laughs> you can't prove it. I said you can't prove it. Therefore, being justified by... Oh, God, have mercy. If we grasp a hold of what that scripture really means, these pews couldn't hold us right now. These walls couldn't hold us right now. People would be flooding to the altar praying, Lord, increase my faith, restore my faith. Because justification means be proven to be right. Oh, God, have mercy. Oh, come on, you got to receive the word of the Lord this morning. I don't have to prove nothing. I am proven right by my faith. By my faith. We have peace. Look at here. Therefore being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Next verse. By whom also we have... Stand with me. By whom also we have... We have access by faith. <laughs> oh, Lord.
Lord. Do you see it? We have access by faith. Access. You know what that means? There's a door open by faith into this grace wherein we... Well, I'm waiting on this and I'm waiting on that. I'm waiting on this. I'm waiting on that. I'm telling you, open your eyes and look where you are. We have access by faith into this grace wherein we stand and rejoice and rejoice in hope. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. And rejoice in hope of the glory of God. Let's see what, John, what the Lord told Martha, John eleven twenty five. 25. 